Okay, so let's get started. So welcome everyone to the very first meeting of the Computational Materials Society. Uh, today, we're just gonna give a really quick presentation about kind of what we've done in the past, the goals of our club, and I guess what different ways you can get involved over the next four months. Because uh, we have a lot planned for the, for the fall term and we were, will continue to do so uh, for the rest of the year. So if any of this excites you and you're gonna be interested in what we're involved in, then definitely stick around. So Kevin. Uh, next slide. Okay, so what do we do? So we are a student group on uh, the Department of Material Science and Engineering at McMaster. And if you don't know what computational materials is, it's typically just using like software or application development uh, to apply to different material science research and industry applications, such as here you can see automation data processing, modeling and optimization, as well as simulation. Because uh, as you know, in materials, we deal with a lot of uh, almost like nanoscale or atomic scale uh, for the materials. And there's a lot that can be done when you model them or simulate them. And that's what we have our computers for. Okay, and there's kind of two main pillars of our club, where number one, we want to educate our, our material students or anyone who's interested uh, to give them to the tools to apply these computational methods in whatever they want, whether it's materials or not. So in doing that, we have tutorials and workshops and this year you will be seeing a lot of that as well. And the second bit is that we have a lot of projects. Uh, so that like from industry and research, uh, typically sponsored by a professor or a company. And yeah, those are the kind of the two main things we do. Uh, Kevin, next slide. Yep. And oh. I guess, Kevin, you can start here. Yeah, so um, in the past, during the last semester, the last academic year, we ran some, a couple of projects. So one of them was uh, an educational, uh, educational series where we taught you about the intro to AI and machine learning, as well as another series for basic simulations. However, our major uh, focus was on the intro to AI and machine learning. So we actually have a... Uh, a website where you can go in and see all the uh, all the our recorded events where we pretty much teach you from the very ground up how to like how AI works and how to actually apply it using your own code. So on this page we have a very simple example. It's actually a very popular example of a data set known as the Safari 10 data set and it has about 60,000 images. And pretty much what we're trying to do with this data set is we're trying to train an AI to classify each image. So this data set contains different 10 different classes of images where each class corresponds to either a airplane, a car, a bird, whatever. So there's 10 different types, 10 different types of things in the image. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to train the AI to understand what's in each image and properly classify them. So on the right side of the screen, you can actually see a little bit of the code which we use for this. So we have essentially what you're looking at is the architecture of, of the AI. So we have what we call a convolutional network. Don't worry, don't worry if you don't really understand what that is. We will go through that this semester. And pretty much we use that to break down the images and help detect features within each image. And the AI is able to classify based on these, on these features. And here's uh, some further uh, explanation. So essentially what we have on the right side, we have a, uh, an image and it's highly pixelated, right? Because like if, if you think about how many images we have in this data set, we have 60,000 images, right? So we cannot have them to be high res. So all of our images are 32 by 32 uh, pixels. That's why this horse is highly pixelated. However, the AI is still able to tell us that it's a horse, right? Because if we run if you look at the cell below the horse, we run model.predict classes, and it's pretty much able to accurately tell us that it corresponds to array seven, which corresponds with being a horse. So this is a very, uh, this is a working example of what we've done. As well, we've worked on another project with uh, a company in Dundas known as Steel Image. They work in a fracture, not fracture, failure analysis. So pretty much we had these images and they wanted us to perform some metrics on them. So. What we did is at the top left, you can see the original microstructure image. And what we did is we had to pass through that through a neural network to denoise the image. So you can see that there are barely any grain boundaries in the second image because we're trying to only get the black phases or the perlite phases. And Arrhenius did some open TV processing to help clean up the images. And this is a very, uh, this is actually a real life example of what you can do from what you can, like, of what you can do after you you participate in this club, you can learn all the skills necessary where you can deal with uh, real life problems like this and provide solutions to uh, different businesses. And at the bottom is another example where we actually do something called pro-light banding. Uh, we, we try to essentially quantify the 
degree of banding in, in, in our microstructure. So after going over what we've done last year, this year we have a few things planned. And the first thing I want to go over is uh, the hands-on step-by-step program project developing a machine learning model. So I have a project plan for all our members if uh, you guys are interested in it. So pretty much what it is is we go through a, uh, a classification project where we I walk you guys through the process of building an AI, but I allow you guys to take your own first steps. And if, if there's any problems, I help walk you guys along. And the second thing is uh, we have uh, three beginner-rented uh, programming tutorials. I believe Jeremy is leading these, and I'll uh, allow him to go over, over that when we get to that slide. As well, we have a Python crash course as well as an intro to machine learning. So the Python crash course and intro to machine learning is being held next Tuesday. So uh, be sure to check out our social media for any updates. And uh, yeah. It's pretty much if if you uh, if you've taken like first year one do four or one p thirteen coding, it pretty much goes over the very basics of that and as well the uh, the very basics for for Python for data science applications in particular. So, so here's the very first uh, item that I mentioned. It's the uh, the the project. So this project is essentially we are trying to trying to detect different surface uh, surface defects that can occur in uh, metal production, right? So at the bottom left image, you can see that there's a few images. There's a, we have scars, we have holes, bubbles, and these images are pretty much taken off the surface of different metals, which are being produced in factories, right? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create an AI that's that's able to correctly classify what kind of surface defect is on top of, of, uh, of a, of, a, of our medal of interest, right? So we have four different milestones for this project. So each week we're gonna go through one milestone and I'm gonna give you guys the chance to work, in it, to work in it on your own. And after the week is over, I will go through the whole milestone myself and I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it as I've, as I've intended it to be done. So you guys have the opportunity to develop it yourselves as well. You can have my support, my full support to code everything properly and uh, get get a working working application at the end. And uh, I will let Jeremy take it on from from here. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. So uh, what we also have planned are a couple of uh, tutorials that cover some topics in computational material science. Um, we'll have one scheduled uh, at the end of each month from September to November. Each of them are uh, Python based and don't require any setup on your end. We're gonna use a platform called Google Colab, which is kind of like a, a purely online version of Jupyter Notebook. All these tutorials are designed to be under an hour and especially beginner oriented. Uh, and all the solutions to the, the tutorials will be, be provided at the start. So you can just sit and uh, listen, or you can participate with the coding. Um, the primary focus with these tutorials is to introduce and engage in these topics of computational material science. So overall, it's not gonna be very math or theory heavy, and the programming, again, will be oriented towards beginners. So uh, the first tutorial on the, the next slide. Um, is making a uh, random walk model of atomistic diffusion. So in our third year material science class, mass diffusion, we um, our professor introduced the topic of um, atomistic diffusion. And we're actually gonna start from a few basic assumptions about an atom moving in a crystal. And we're gonna do some uh, wow. basic programming to actually uh, create a, a model of diffusion. So that is our first tutorial set for next week at 5.30. So uh, be sure to watch out on our uh, social media as well. So for the next month of October, the next tutorial on the, uh, the next slide, um, we're actually gonna be doing something called focus stacking with uh, microscopy images of uh, bismuth. 
So focus stacking is just a general concept. If you see that image in the bottom right corner of the flies, the first two um, have a different focal length. So the front of the fly is in focus in the first, and then the back of the fly is in focus on the back. Uh, this is a common problem with um, using optical microscopes. And so what we can do is actually combine both aspects of the images that are in focus to create one image that's overall in focus. And we'll be doing that with um, actual samples that we've taken pictures of from the uh, McMaster labs. Um, and then our final tutorial will be making a uh, model of grain growth and solidification using something called cellular automata. And you can see a little animation of uh, kind of what cellu cellular automata are. They're kind of like robots that change based off of the current state of, of the, the simulation. But you'll learn more about it if you, uh, if you uh, choose to attend. So that will be happening um, tentatively uh, on November 18th. So that's all for our uh, tutorials planned uh, this month. Great, I can take it over from there, Jeremy. But yeah, so thanks Jeremy and Kevin going through our plans through the year. Uh, so in terms of things tentatively to look forward to, uh, we have our upcoming tutorial, uh, kind of like a crash course for general Python, as well as we're going to do an intro to machine learning. As I know, I recognize some of you here who are from the materials for ML3 course, which is the uh, machine learning applications for chemical and materials engineers. Uh, where they're already teaching machine learning, but where we want to go off the assumption that all of you more or less have first year knowledge, uh, such as like Python programming. Uh, but even then, you might have forgotten a little bit. So we're going to go through that. So if you're interested, uh, we're going to be running this next Tuesday. So you can join there. Uh, generally, if you want to follow our stuff uh, to know when we're posting, you should definitely follow our Instagram oh, and Facebook, yeah. McMaster CMS. Oh, pardon? Uh, Yep. Okay. So we're uh, follow our Instagram McMaster CMS. You'll find all of our posters well in advance before our actual events. Uh, and yeah, so that's going to be that. Kevin, can we go next? Okay. And if you want to uh, join our tutorials again, this is like the Instagram poster. I don't believe this one is already posted, but it'll be posted tomorrow morning, uh, 10 AM. But this is Jeremy's mass diffusion random walk tutorial, which you might've heard about in three EO class, I think last week. Uh, so you can look forward to that and next. Oh, is there a slide for, oh, I guess, no, I haven't made it yet. So if you want to uh, like get involved with Kevin's project, just keep up with our Instagram because that's where we, we're going to be posting our poster. And I believe that uh, the first session for the, uh, for the machine learning project that Kevin showed us will, will be in about two weeks. So keep in touch with our Instagram and that's really everything else that we have for today. Uh, Kevin and Jeremy, do you have anything else or do you think we're good? Oh, I want to just thank everybody for uh, coming to see what, what we're doing here. So thank yeah. you. Thanks for joining. And before we jump off, Kevin, do you want to just quickly show the website? So all of our all of our content, whenever we do tutorials, even when we go into in-person, we really like recording things so we can put it on our website uh, for people to watch either for reference or for later. So Kevin, do you want to just quickly show off the website, uh, like where we do our recordings? Maybe you can show them like where the machine learning tutorials from scratch are. Yeah, absolutely. Give me a second to share that. I'm going to put the link in the chat for you guys as well. So there's the chat. OK, so this is the website. It's uh, mcmastermse.com. And pretty much, if you get on this website, you can go to clubs and you find Computation Material Society. And that's where we post all of our content. So in the past, we've had had a few events. And mo most importantly, we've we have the tutorial series for uh, intro to AI and machine learning. So if you do want to try to get ahead, and uh, this, is, this is also going to be a very good resource for you when working on the project. So if, if you want to try to learn the very basics and build up from there, this tutorial set is going to be very useful for you guys. So it's, a, it's in five parts, and they're all on YouTube. So if you come here, click on the link, you can have a look at them. And some of them are, are uh, pretty lengthy, but uh, they they go through everything you're going to need to know to cover, to probably cover uh, 
the content for this project. And uh, yeah, we also have another section for um, our basic simulations part, which we had a Anastruct, uh, Anastruct workshop for last year. This is just not going to be uh, too important for the project we're going to be working on, but uh, there's just extra stuff if, if you guys are interested in uh, physics simulations. And uh, yeah, am I missing anything, I believe? Yep. Do you want to just show them quickly the the machine the intro to AI machine learning tutorials and like show them that there's follow along code like from the buttons? Oh yeah. Like the, our GitHub and stuff. Um download so, the code. Yeah. yeah, download the code. Yeah, there you yeah, go. So uh over here, so like we, we I pretty much code along with you guys in these videos. So if you want the code, we have links to our GitHub. So if you click on these, it's gonna direct you straight to the GitHub and then you can also uh Download these links. They're, they're HTML versions as well as a uh, high Python notebook version. So these ones you can run and uh, you can run them in a uh, Jupyter notebook or uh, Google Colab and run the code along, or you can just have a look at the final run versions and the outputs from here as well. So each each section has all the code attached and everything. So you can simply just follow along and uh, yeah, it should be relatively smooth. If there's any questions, if you guys are following these, if you want to try to get ahead, feel free to ask me. And uh, yeah, I can definitely help you guys help you guys out. Great, thanks, if Kevin. That's uh, uh, the, the, oh, I just want to quickly mention that for the machine learning project that you're running, uh, or I guess I'm asking you, do they need to have any prior machine learning knowledge? Uh, so no. So the thing is about this project is I'm going to give you the opportunity to uh to work on it on your own. So there, there's four different four different uh, milestones because uh, we, we've I've pretty much covered all the content I did. Um, you're gonna need to, to finish this project last semester. However, after each milestone, so after each week, I'm gonna still go through all the content and make sure that I explain everything for you guys to understand. So if you guys were not here last semester, you'll still be able to, to do it. So no, you, don't, you do not need any pre-existing knowledge about machine learning, I'm going to go through everything with you. All right, great. Thanks for going through all that stuff, Kevin. So yeah, that's really everything for us today. We just wanted to have a quick hello, uh, see some new, I guess, names, not so much faces, but hopefully in the future, we would definitely like to have some in-person aspects, especially since when we get start getting nitty gritty into the code, it'll be very nice for us to kind of just simply walk up to you if you need help. Um, but I guess that's kind of probably looking like a winter sort of thing. So you can look forward to more in-person stuff there because we are hoping to. But yeah, in the meantime, if any of this stuff interests you, uh, follow our Instagram McMa at McMasterCMS. We'll be posting all of our updates and all of our events there. At some point, Kevin, if you're doing, if you're interested in the uh, in the actual project itself, we'll probably make like a Microsoft Teams server to add you into there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of everything we wanted to run through regarding our club. And we would like to leave some time now for anyone who has any questions. Uh, feel free to ask about the stuff you heard about today or even what we did previously, whether it's about a project or a tutorial or anything. Um, even if like you're not in materials or if you are like Jeremy, myself and Kevin have done a few co-ops. So we have a little bit of experience. Feel free to ask us anything. So yeah, we'll leave it open to questions. Thank you.